Hello everyone, this is Rago, SME at the Gate Academy. In this video, we will solve a question from uh, entropy topic, so which was asked in Gate 2014 in set 4 for 2 marks. It's a very interesting question, it's related to so changing the entropy of a controlled volume. So how to find out entropy generated when some process occurs through a controlled volume. The question is like this. An amount of 100 kilowatt of heat is transferred through a wall in steady state. One side of the wall is maintained at 127 degrees C and the other side at 27 degrees C. The entropy generated in watt per Kelvin due to heat transfer through the wall is. The question is, he is saying that there is a wall and the amount of 100 kilowatt of heat will be transferred through this wall under steady state conditions. And one side temperature is given as 127 uh, degrees C and the temperature on the other side of the wall is given as 27 degrees C. And during this process of heat transfer, he is asking us to find out so the entropy generated inside the wall. So what is the entropy generated inside the wall? The question is something like this. This is the wall. So temperature on one side is given as 127 degrees C and temperature on the other side is given as 27 degrees C and he is saying that it is a steady state heat transfer. If it is steady state heat transfer, if 100 kilowatt of heat enters here, if 100 kilowatt of heat enters here, so the same amount of heat so comes through the other end of the wall. Okay. So if the same amount of heat not is coming out, so I can say like this, some amount of energy will be trapped inside the control volume and the properties of that particular wall will be continuously changing. Temperature of these surfaces will be continuously changing, then I can say it's not a steady state. Under steady state conditions, the energy entering into the system and energy coming out from the system must be the same. So here I am assuming this wall is my control volume. This wall is my control volume. So since he is saying that it's a steady state operation, so no property of that particular control volume is going to change with respect to time. So for this control volume I can write change in entropy like this. So rate of change of entropy for the control volume I can say like this. So entropy of the control volume may change due to two reasons, three reasons. I can say, so one is due to heat transfer. If there is any heat transfer, so that causes some change in entropy. This is rate of entropy transfer due to heat transfer plus so there may be some entropy generated inside the system. So rate of change of entropy due to entropy generation inside the system. Apart from this, some mass may be entering the control volume. So due to which, so entropy of the control volume may change. And some mass may be leaving the control volume. So due to which, so entropy of the control volume may decrease. So this is rate of entropy change of control volume. And this is rate of entropy change due to heat transfer. Rate of entropy change of the control volume due to entropy generation rate of entropy change of control volume due to mass inlet and rate of entropy change of control volume due to mass outlet. So for a general uh, control volume, so we write like this, rate of change of entropy for a control volume. In the question he is saying that, so the given system is in steady state. Under steady state conditions, I can say like this, so the properties of the control volume will not change with respect to time. Since nothing, no other, no property will change with respect to time, entropy of control volume should also not change with respect to time. And in the given question, he is saying that only heat is entering the control volume and heat is leaving the control volume. So he didn't mention anything about these mass interactions. So since there are no mass interactions, the mass entering the control volume and mass leaving the control volume, mass of the inlet and exit of the control volumes are zero. So from here I can write like this. So this is. So entropy change, so due to this heat transfer plus entropy change of the control volume, so due to this entropy generation. From here I can write like this, the rate of entropy generation is minus, so entropy change due to heat interactions. So from here I can write like this, so this is minus, so due to heat interactions what is the change in entropy? If heat is entering the system, so we write it as plus Q and if heat is leaving the system, we write it as minus Q. So here you can see at one end, so heat of 100 kilowatt is entering the system. So I can say it is plus 100 kilowatt, this much amount of heat is entering the system 
and this heat is entering the system at a temperature of so 127 plus 273 Kelvin and so the other heat interaction is heat is leaving the control volume so the amount of heat leaving the control volume is 100 kilowatt and the temperature at which the heat is leaving the control volume is 27 degrees C or 300 Kelvin. So entropy generation is happening only due to heat transfer through the control volume. The rate of entropy generation is like this. If you simplify this, you will get the rate of entropy generation. If you simplify this, you will get 0 0.0833 kilowatt per kelvin. This is rate of entropy change of generation. But in the question, he is asking us to find out rate of entropy generation of the control volume per watt per kilowatt. So, if you multiply this with 1000, I can say it's 83.3 watt per Kelvin. So, this is the rate at which entropy is generated inside the control volume. Thank you.